sort of what things you sort of developed uh, on your own. I mean, you have some circuitry here, and to create a final composition, you've actually had to build build certain things, right? Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, this guy right here he made quite a while ago, and uh, what it is, it's just a piece of steel. The spring strip uh, str strung across it, and there's a contact microphone. This is picking up all the vibrations throughout this entire strip here, and sending it right through a quarter inch jack into guitar pedal, just so I can give it a little more boost. <laughs> and it's called the boomstick. And it's called the boomstick, that's right. And then uh, <laughs> there's that. I've got um, the theremin here, which this was actually built from a kit. I didn't build it. I bought it from somebody else who, who made it. So if anybody wants one of these, they're, they're pretty cheap if you get a kit to actually build it. And it's basically designed so that this is supposed to be a volume pedal right, or volume right here. The closer the proximity, the lower the volume. And this is basically going to be uh, the closer I get to it, the higher pitch. Obviously, just demonstrated that, I guess. It's off. Um, so is that. Uh, I built this little box right here. This is a, uh, it's called a true bypass feedback loop. And the way it works is, is I've taken my guitar and the guitar goes in here and it sends out to the mixer, which is, this is the main command station for all these instruments. And its main out goes to the amplifier. But back to this box, there's, this is my effects chain. And this just goes to these three pedals right here. So. The guitar goes into the, the signal from the guitar goes into this box and enters a continuous loop. And as it just con continues to loop around through these pedals, it just keeps picking up information. And what ends up coming out the other side is just unholy cacophony. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also the connection between your some of those physical devices in the video. Talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the background behind all of this, I've got Isadora running as well as Arduino. And I'm using Arduino to communicate between the guitar and the um, uh, and the computer. So I've got this potentiometer, um, just a volume knob, is sending information to the Arduino board back here, and that's sending values to this computer. And basically, I've just got it set up to say, you know, this is reads this value of zero all the way up to 100, and I can use that to manipulate the video. I have a five voice selector switch here that every time I move that, it sends a signal saying position four, position three, position two. And that will go, that'll tell um, Isadora which, which scene I'd like to select. And so in this one, I just selected to channel two. And, oh, that was channel three actually. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, most of the, all of the video that you see here is all basically done in Isadora but I'm using Arduino in unison with Isadora so that I can use my guitar as like a video controller. This is a volume job for the different values of it and controls which video is working? Um, no, I've got, I've got five video channels basically set up in the Isadora program. And when this selector switch is in position one, um, I should be in video sequence one. And so you've hacked your electric guitar essentially? Yeah. So and so you can see that I had to just manually jump to channel three because it's kind of buggy. It's supposed to be on channel three right here. And so I'm basically giving a numerical value saying move forward in the video feed right here. Or in this case, bring in another video element that I had the opacity reduced. And now That's the big, that's the gist of it, really. I didn't design this. <laughs> None of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Found a good use for my record player.
was either recording now or it wasn't recording before at all. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.